Some Hoosier parents are searching for new child care options tonight after the YMCA announced plans to shut down several programs. Officials say it's due to staffing shortages. CBS News Bianca Reyes shares just how many programs are closing, some as soon as this week. All right, good job today. They teach me as much as I teach them. If there's one thing Becky Ricks has learned in her 22 years with the YMCA, working in child care takes patience. But now I did have a staff member give two weeks notice about a week and a half ago. She's waiting on new hires to fill positions that have sat empty for weeks. 22 years that I've been with the Y, this is the worst that it um, has been. This after school program at North Wayne Elementary can enroll up to 70 kids. But due to staffing shortages, that roster has been cut in half. I have parents that have been on the waiting list since we came back to school in February. We have ratios that we have to maintain to keep the kids safe. And so in order to do that, we are unfortunately having to close some underperforming programs that have low enrollment. These are the building blocks of our body. The YMCA runs more than 100 before and after school programs across Indianapolis. But officials say 13 of the programs with the lowest enrollment will be closed by next Friday. It's not just getting staff in the door, but we've got to maintain the staff that we have. Retention bonuses, sign on incentives, and even pleas to parents and teachers have been made. But in the end, almost all programs are still short staffed. I just want every, you know, every site to sort of be at a level where it makes the environment safe. For Becky, it's about being there for the kids and parents who need her most. Child care is, is not necessarily a, a difficult job. It's more rewarding. She says her hope is that others will see it that way too. Making a difference is what it's all about. Reporting on the West Side, I'm Bianca Reyes, CBS 4 News. The YMCA says it will continue to monitor staffing levels so they can notify parents when one of those programs comes back.